Okay, so let's move forward. Uh, now we want to start learning forms and buttons. So let's use forms and buttons between our side two. Forms, the form and buttons. So under this, you tend to learn a lot and you need to pay more attention to it because it's, it's a bit complex compared to the one we have learned before. So, we declare form tag F-O-R-M and we close it and come down. So, first thing, mostly when we want to fill form, the first thing they ask of us is our first name, their last name and all of that. So, let's start with our first name. So, then you tend to declare something we call label. So, I close it. Okay, let's check this page first. You see that there is nothing there for now okay so now that we have a label so what are we going to have inside label what uh that is our first name and then we put color okay can you see it now yes but well, i need to add some attributes so when you want to style it and all of that, all these attributes are necessary so that they can move together. So for this one, we're going to declare what is it meant for. So that's the first attribute. For what? For last first name. So you can just tag it like this F name. Anything you like, you must put here. But whatever you put here must correlate with what you are going to do next now. So after label, we're going to have what you call input. And that is what is that will, that what will give us uh, where we're going to write our information. So now we should have, so this is what the input is all about. But to correlate the information, there are something that needs to be put there, so it has attributes too. Input is an empty element, so but it has attributes. The first attribute is a uh, type. We need to declare the kind of the type of what you want to put there so let's say text so it's in the form of text after type you declare id so your id must be the same thing with this four which is f name okay then after id then we have name I'm guessing the spelling no uh -huh. So the name is the uh, first name. So, so that's the name. Okay, there is still one more attribute that I want to hide, but before that, let's see, see what we have there. So it's still the same thing. So all this one that I've been writing are just hidden information that must be there. Okay, so there is something we call place order. So place order now. So we write first uh, place order is what we actually want to be showing inside our box. Okay, can you see that now? So this is place order. This place order is just there for saying sake. The moment you start typing your information, it's going to disappear. And because we have declared this one to be just first name, it's going to affect only one name. I know that. So, uh, in order not to waste our time, let me give you an assignment to go and do for last name, which will be the next one after this. Do this one first name and do that of last name. And before you go and do that, remember to put your break so that they won't fall on the same line. Alright, see you in the next class. Bye.